And overseas tonight, major developments in Yugoslavia. Police have arrested former Yugoslav president Lovoto Milosevic and handed him over to a judge. The search for the armed men who robbed this Wells Fargo bank on Monday has ended. A police helicopter spotted the suspect's car just minutes after they robbed a Washington Mutual Bank in Chatsworth. To some, it may seem like they're making a stink over something small. But to residents of Placerita Canyon, their sewer issues are quite large. Residents in Seattle are cleaning up the debris left by an earthquake that shook the city yesterday. Are SUVs really safer than minivans? Our report up next. And now we join Claire Blackwell, who will show us how to use flowers from your own garden to create beautiful bouquets. So if you are headed to the courthouse for a marriage license soon, give yourself a little extra time. Live from New Hall, I'm Amber Seat. And overseas tonight, major developments in Yugoslavia. Police have arrested former Yugoslav president Lovoto Milosevic and handed him over to a judge. He will face charges from his decade of repressive rule. This is video from Belgrade tonight, moments after a 26-hour-long standoff at Milosevic's villa ended with his surrender. A convoy of cars rushed him to Belgrade Central Prison. He is accused with atrocities against Kosovo's ethnic Albanian majority, and tonight there has been no official comment from the White House. Back here at home, controversy tonight in a tight race for Los Angeles mayor. Anger and apologies following a mailer supporting Antonio Varagosa. The mailer was sent out by the United Teachers of Los Angeles to 100,000 of its union members. It touts the record of Varagosa, particularly his stand on education, but included with the mailer a school ruler and a bullet shell casing. I think there's many other ways of delivering a positive message about a candidate. If you want people to know that they're against gangs, find some other way to do it. If anyone has been um, upset or disturbed by, by it, we uh, offer our apologies. Late today, Viragosa's campaign released this statement saying it had no prior knowledge of the mailer and it was done without the campaign's approval. <laughs> 